Hey guys, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass walkthrough, episode 3. Last episode we uh, got our sword and now we're going to head up to the north onto the path to get to town without going uh, across a bridge since it's broken. We just uh, battled some red choo-choos right there. Now we're going to slash our sword on this guy right here. And he's going to teach us how to roll. You're just going to uh, make little circles on the side of your screen. And we can roll into this tree to get a red rupee. And come over here, battle some more red choo-choos. And then break these trees here, and we're going to enter the cave now. In here in the mountain passage, we got some rocks here. Just tap them to pick them up, and then tap them to throw them away. And we see that we got a locked door right here. So we're going to come around this way. Some red choo-choos are going to come out of the ground. And this rupee gets stuck up on this ledge here. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Get some more rupees from those red choo-choos. And we get a small key from this chest here. So we're going to take that to this door. And this is going to open it up. In here we got some more red choo-choos, some pots over here, you can smash them, get some hearts, or some rupees maybe. And then this stone block is going to tell us that we have to pull these four levers in the correct order. So we're just going to try this random order right now, just going left to right but that's going to be incorrect and this new enemy the rope is going to appear looks just like a snake except with a different name this is going to tell us how to move blocks so you're just going to tap on them and then arrows are going to come up and you can point to which way you, you want to go this new enemy here is our keys and they're just like bats except a different name this stone block is going to tell us that the first lever we have to pull is the second one from the left. So we're going to mark that down on our map. And now we're going to head across to the other side here. Move this stone block out of the way. And we got some more keys here. Kill all of those, and then break these pots, get some hearts. And in this treasure chest here, we're going to get a red rupee. Another 20 rupees. And then this is going to tell us the order for more levers. So the second one is the one on the left. And the last one is going to be second from the right so that means that the one on the right is going to be third so we're going to come back over here and pull it in pull these levers in that order and it's going to make a small key drop from nowhere and we're gonna open up this door with that key a rope's gonna appear behind the door I don't know how it got there but whatever we got a new enemy here it's just called a rat exactly what it looks like it's just gonna be one hit with your sword like the other two enemies that we faced or other three enemies that we faced and we can see that rat right there has a key but if we try and chase after it, it's going to go into one of the two rat holes that they've got here. So what you're going to want to do is move this block and put it right in front of this hole. And we're not going to be able to get to it like that. So you're going to come around here and then on your map, which is on the top screen, you can see when the key moves that way and the rat's not going to be able to go in the hole on the other side so it's going to come back and you can intercept it, grab the key and open it, 
open this door here with it. And we've got this path now. We've got more keys and we got some uh, boulders. So just kill all the keys with your sword. Destroy the boulders. You can get some rupees sometimes. And out this door we go. Okay, so now we gotta head to the port, see if Lineback is there. The sailor that we're looking for to help us find Princess Zelda, or Tetra. But we're gonna uh, look at the town first. The treasure teller over there is not open yet, so we'll just ignore that for now. In this house, this guy is going to tell us if, or wonders if we've heard of Astrid before the fortune teller but we haven't and maybe that's a clue to what's gonna come up in the future maybe we're gonna have to go visit Astrid for something talk to this old lady here and she just tells us that the ghost ship is dangerous and we shouldn't look for it if we want to live but we're gonna do that This lady is just going to tell us that uh, the ghost ship has, they haven't had as many visitors and because nobody wants to go out on the ocean. And this guy is just making sure that nobody tries to walk across the bridge. If they're blind or something, you can't see that the bridge is gone. This old guy is going to tell us that he was trying to get to the milk bar, but he's taking a break even though it's right beside him. But we're just going to ignore the milk bar for now. And we're going to come into this TP looking thing here. And we find out that it's a shop. And right now we're going to buy the wooden shield for 80 rupees. And it's going to defend a defend against some attacks so that's always good and now we're going to destroy this grass quickly and in here is the shipyard but nothing's happening there right now so we're gonna go to the port and we can see Lineback's ship right here Okay, so he's going to tell us that Lineback likes to go into the milk bar. So we're going to head into here now. And this old guy made it into the bar now. But he's got nothing important to say, so we're going to talk to the bartender. Okay, so we find out that Lineback went to the Temple of the Ocean King, and it's a dangerous place. So I think we're going to end things off here. But next episode, we are going to go to the Temple of the Ocean King, see if we can find Lineback, and try and get him to help us search for Tetra. So I'll see you guys next time.